So I'd like to uh, call the meeting to order for June 18th, 2020. Do we hear a second? Anyone? Okay, uh, Mr. Chairman, I would, I'm gonna need to uh, unmute all. And I would okay. ask that only voting members just press the space bar when you need to second a motion uh, and then release the space bar when you're done. Uh, we're also gonna, uh, when we do roll calls, we're just gonna go through it that way. If we get into a situation where people are forgetting to uh, mute themselves, I'm gonna have to hit mute all again and it's gonna get a little bit uh, cumbersome. So just everybody uh, exercise a little discipline with the mute buttons. Excellent. Do we need a, a roll call on the, just opening the meeting? I would suggest that we do. Okay, so again, I call the meeting to order of June 18th, 2020. Is there a second? Second, Alan. Okay. Jeff, would you mind calling the roll? Because I know you've got the list. Abington. Bridgewater. Here. Carver. Carver's here. Duxbury. East Bridgewater. Halifax. Uh, I do see Troy Halifax. Muted. Okay. Uh, Hanover. Hanson needs to mute her phone. Hanson. Here. Yeah. Hanson. 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 Uh, Hingham. Here. Hall. Kingston. Lakeville. Marion. Marion's here. Marshfield. Here. Mattapoisic. Here. Middleborough. Here. Norwell. Here. Here. Uh, Pembroke. Here. Plymouth. Plimpton. Rochester. Rockland. Yes, Rockland's here. Situate. Wareham. Here. West Bridgewater. And Whitman. Jeff, I can't hear everybody. If you if you have made it through the list, just Jeff, I can't hear everybody's response. Did we get everybody? Uh, Frank, you can unmute yourself. Okay, look, I'm just moving forward. Um, at this point, uh, as we start every meeting, I have my little flag. So I'm gonna, if you would join me in the Pledge of Allegiance, I'd appreciate it. I pledge allegiance to, to the flag of the United, the United States, States of America, America. To, the to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. For all. all right, thank you. Um, all right, everybody, let's just do our best to, to get through the Zoom meeting with so many people. It gets somewhat cumbersome, but as Jeff uh, indicated, every time we have a vote, we have to do a roll of the entire board. So uh, just try to do the best you can to, to, to uh, listen to Jeff when he calls the roll. Um, prior to moving forward, I want to announce that the e-board met at 6.30. Uh, we voted unanimously to appoint Mike Mullen from Rockland uh, to the e-board uh, to um, fill the vacancy uh, um, by Bob uh, Sullivan. And uh, now I'd like to welcome everybody. Welcome, Mike Mullen. We really appreciate him for stepping up. And um, moving uh, into the next section is the vote for the chair and vice chair of the advisory committee. So I'm going to open it up for nominations at this point, and I nominate uh, Alan Slavin 
uh, to be the vice chair of the advisory committee. We'll hear a second. Second. And Jeff, would you mind calling the entire roll again? Actually, you know what, Jeff, just uh, stand by for a second. Okay. Because I'm going to take nominations for vice chair. Are there any other nominations for vice chair? Okay. Hearing no other name nominations for vice chair, I'm uh, moving to the nomination for chair of the advisory board. Are there any nominations for chair of the advisory board? I make a motion, Chair, for Michael to be chair again, Alan Slavin, we him. Okay. So now I'm going to do both of these at once, unless anybody objects. If you object, say something now. Saying no objection. Uh, Jeff, could you call the roll for the vote on the vice chair, the motion for the vice chair and the chair? Uh, Alan Slavin, vice chair, Mike Bradley for chair. Abington. Bridgewater. Yes. Brockton. Yes. Carver. Yes. Duxbury. Aye. Uh, East Bridgewater. Halifax. Hanover. Hanson. Aye. Hingham. Aye. Hall. Kingston, Lakeville, Marion, Marion I. Marshfield, Mattapoise, Mattapoise, I. Middleborough, I. Norwell, I. Pembroke, yes. Plymouth, uh, Plimpton. Rochester. Rockland? Yes. Situate? Wareham? Yes. West Bridgewater? Whitman? Chair that uh, passed with 100% of the vote, uh, which represents a 54.62 uh, majority. Excellent. Thank you, everyone. All right. At, at this point, next on the agenda is uh, Commissioner Dan Pallotta is going to give us an overview of the Plymouth County CARES Act. Dan, are you on? Mr. Chairman, they're trying to let him in right now. He's trying to get him the cell phone. Okay. We'll give him a minute. Can, can you hear me? Hi, can, yeah. can you hear me? No. Yes, oh. we can hear you. Uh, all right. So, Dan, we're at the point for you to give us an update on the CARES Act. Are you ready to do uh, that? Or do you want us to come yeah, back? Yeah, I am ready to do that. If Jeff could put up the uh, slide, uh, I'll, uh, I'll get going. I'll pull over here at the rest stop and uh, start talking. So, Jeff, can you, put, can you bring up the uh, slide? Is it up? I don't see it. There we go. So uh, right now we have 17 towns that have applied for funds through the CARE Act. Uh, some towns have applied for multiple funds. Uh, you'll see that two towns have had funds delivered to them. That would be the town of uh, situate, which had a flawless submission in the town of Mossfield that had some minor technicalities. Um, most of the other towns are in processing, but I wanted to uh, make sure that all of you go back to your communities and talk to your administrators and your accounting departments. We're really checking every piece of paper and some of these are 1200 pages. So the invoices have to match. Uh, the invoices have to match uh, the amount on the spreadsheet. So we've had a, a lot of cases where there's been digit errors, or there's been uh, an extra digit, or not enough digits. 
So we want you all to take advantage of this program and it'll run a lot smoother if they just do a quick double check before they uh, get their submissions in. The ones that are in before you total over $4 million, we're really proud about that. And uh, next week, towards the end of next week, we are going to probably be meeting with your administrators to announce the next tranche of money, um, which will hopefully help all of you with your schools and, and other things uh, through the summer. So you can expect uh, an, updated, uh, an updated awarded amount of money to your town, and uh, we will be continuing the program through September. But you'll know, note that what you did not use in phase one will roll into phase two. It's not, you know, if you didn't use it, you're not going to lose it. It's going to roll into phase two. And that's all I have, Mr. Chairman. Excellent. Uh Appreciate that, uh, Commissioner Pallotta. And at this point, uh, we're going to move right along in the agenda to the FY 2021 revenues. Are there any questions for the FY 2021 revenues? Okay, seeing no. I'll move to approve the revenues as projected, Mr. Oh, Chairman. Thank you. thank you. Second the motion. Do we have a second? Second. Uh, Jeff, no. again, mind calling the roll? Abington? Bridgewater? Yes. Brockton? Yes. Carver? Yes. Duxbury? East Bridgewater? Halifax? Yes. Hanover? Hanson? Yes. Hingham? Yes. Hull? Kingston? <coughs> yes. Uh, Lakeville? Sorry. Kingston? Yes. Lakeville? Marion? Very nice. Marshfield? Hi. Mattapoise? <laughs> Jordan Collier, aye. Right. Middleborough? Aye. Norwell? Aye. Pembroke? Yes. Plymouth? Plimpton? Rochester? Rockland? Yes. Situate? Wareham? Yes. West Bridgewater? And Whitman? Yes. Mr. Chairman, if I might, I noticed that Hanover has joined. I don't know if they heard the roll call, and uh, I saw Mr. Tuzik there, uh, and I don't know if he wanted to weigh in on the vote. Mr. Tuzik? Hanover, did you want to be on the vote? Frank, do we have more without him? Uh, yes, Chair. We have 59.22 voting Sorry in the affirmative. That, guys. Hanover votes yes. Okay. Thank Sorry, you. Sorry. I, I was muted. Didn't realize it. That, uh, Chair, that brings it to 62.65% uh, in the affirmative. Zero against. Uh, moving right along. The vote for Chapter 64D, Deeds, Excise Funds, County, 60% share. Uh, Alan, would you mind uh, reading that in? You want me to do the first one then? Uh, this is the $1.3 million one. Okay. Please. Vote to approve the amount of $1,320,000 and no cents representing the county's 60% of the 10.625% of these excise tax revenue, which will be generated according to chapter 64D as shown in the total income figures for the operation of the County of Plymouth for the fiscal year, July 1st, 2020 through June 30th, 2021. Well, Alan. Did they hear me or did I get muted as I was talking? 
Nope. Uh, I think it was fine. Uh, that's the motion. I second the motion. Jeff, would you call the roll? Okay. Uh, Abington. Yes. Okay. Everybody needs to unmute themselves. Just press the space bar. Uh, Bridgewater. Yes. Brockton. Yes. Carver. Carver votes yes. Duxbury. East Bridgewater. Halifax. Halifax. <coughs> Hanover. Hanover. Just press the space bar. Hanover votes yes, sorry. Okay. Hanson. Yes. Hingham. Yes. Hull. Kingston. Yes. Lakeville. Marion. Here and I. Marshfield. Aye. Mattapoison. Mattapoison, aye. Middleborough. Middleborough. Noel. Aye. Pembroke. Yes. Plymouth. Plimpton. Rochester. Rockland. Rockland, yes. Situate. Wareham. Yes. West Bridgewater. And Whitman. The chairman, I noticed that Whitman is here now. I don't think that he unmuted to vote yes. So, Dan, if you can hear me, just hit the space bar. How's that? Good. So, are you a yes vote? Halifax is yes. Okay, that uh, gives us 65.22%, Chair. You guys keep muting me. I can make a lot of jokes, but I <laughs> as long as it's not on the back of the bus, we're all right. Uh, all right, now we're moving on to the. Oh, uh, uh, that's funny. Uh, the uh, 64 D deeds excise fund registry deeds 40 percent. Mr. Mullen, would you mind reading that in with that motion, please? Yeah. Yes, Mr. Chair. I, I make a motion to approve the amount of of 800. $88,000 in no sense, representing the registry of deeds 40% of the 10.625% of the deeds excise tax revenue, which will be generated according to Chapter 64D as shown in the total income figure for the operation of the Plymouth County Registry of Deeds for fiscal year at July 1, 2020 to June 30th, 2021. Second. We're going to, uh, Jeff, again, would you please call the roll? Okay. Abington. Yes. Bridgewater. Bridgewater. Yes. Brockton. Yes. Carver. Yes. Duxbury. East Bridgewater. Halifax. Yes. Hanover. Yes. Hanson. Yes. Kingham. Yes. Hull. Kingston. Yes. Lakeville. Marion. Very nice. Marshfield. Aye. Mattapoison. Mattapoison, aye. Middleborough. Aye. Norwell. Aye. Pembroke. Yes. Plymouth. Plimpton. <clears throat> Rochester. Rockland. Yes. Situate. Wareham. Yes. West Bridgewater. And Whitman. Yes. We have the percentage on that, Frank. Uh, yes, Chair. It's 65.22 in the affirmative and zero uh, against. Excellent. 
All right, moving on to the FY 2021 budget, which I'm going to do. Here's what I'm going to do, folks. I'm going to read uh, the item number and the total for that section. I'm going to read the whole thing, including the total. At the end of which, if you have questions, uh, we'll go questions one by one uh, until they're exhausted, at which point I'll read the motion, hopefully to approve it. That being said, item number one, interest on county debt. $43,175. Item number two, reduction of debt, $275,000. Item number three, county commissioners, total salaries and expenses, $323,663.68. Looks like it's misnumbered. Next item, number, it says item number five, parking department, $182,923. 12. Six, building maintenance department, total salary and expenses. One million eight hundred twenty thousand. Mr. Chairman, unmute yourself. Where did you uh, hear me leave off, Jeff? Uh, you said parking. Parking department, total salaries and expenses. $182,923.12. Building maintenance department, total salaries and expenses, $1,820,175.92. Engineering department, total expenses, $15,000. Cooperative extension services, total salaries and expenses, $274,639.94. Contractual expenses, Total expenses, $362,500. Airplane fire control total expenses, $24,050. Regional Services Department, $32,500. County Dredge, $25,000. County Treasurer, total salaries and expenses, $435,097.28. County Retirement System, total expenses. $1,100,000. OPEB Liability Trust Fund Total Expenses, $125,000. Registry of Deeds Total Salaries and Expenses, $2,235,200.15. Mayflower Municipal Health Group Total Salaries and Expenses, $318,000. Special Accounts, $2,416,554. Dollars and 46 cents. And the total amount of the budget appropriation is $10,008,479.55. So that being said, Jeff, if we could, uh, if anybody has a question instead of uh, just opening up for, for mute, could you use the raise hand feature uh, on the chat and I'll take them one by one. So it looks like is is Craig Salvador from Lake. Oh, no, nope, that's uh, that's Lakeville Community TV. If anybody has a question, hit the raise hand feature now. Jeff, I don't see anybody. Does anybody see that? Uh, Whitman. Whitman has a question. Okay, let's unmute Whit Whitman and, and take his question. Okay, as always, uh, I'm asking. Uh, the Registry of Deeds, uh, the budget that they have for this year, that is our moneymaker basically, and I want to know if they're comfortable with that budget. I know that Mr. Buckley is on here. Mr. Buckley, do you want to respond to that? I can't hear him. Yeah, Mr. still on mute, and he's coming on now. Okay. Okay. Um, we are comfortable with the budget. I will say uh, that we lost a position in this year's budget. Uh, when you look at the revenue on the county side, there were significant losses in other areas. Uh, the treasurer came to me and because it had been a vacancy, uh, we were unable to fill it during these times because we couldn't train anyone we hired. Um, so we didn't hire anybody during that time period but I am uh, comfortable, I support the budget. Um, I will say, you know, we've re had more recordings 
uh, in 2000, FY20, than 19. Uh, so I don't know what will happen in the future, but for this year's budget, I support it. Okay, thank you. As always, I'd like to get your opinion where you are basically the moneymaker. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you both. Do I see any further questions? I don't see anybody. Jeff, am I missing anybody? Uh, I don't see anybody with a hand raised uh, in the app. Okay. Hold on, somebody's Michael. chatting with me. Let me see if they said something. Michael? John Mahoney, how you doing? Uh, well, just got in two minutes ago, so I caught the end of, um, can you just give me a quick summary of what I, I missed? Did you just go through the uh, the overall budget line item by line item? I just went through the whole budget and we're at the question section, so if you had a question on any particular section of the budget, now's the time, John. Okay, so um, I don't know if the commissioners want to weigh in on this. Uh, with respect to the Office of the Inspector General's report on the dredging, um, was it the intention to um, maybe sell off the apparatus and take those revenues and um, get them back to the Commonwealth, or what's the plan? Do any of the commissioners or Treasurer O'Brien want to take that question? I'll be happy to take the question. D Dan, you're not driving, are you? I, of course I'm driving, John. Oh, that, that would only make sense. Okay. All right. The answer is no. There's no intention at this point in time to sell the dredge. Uh, what the Inspector General didn't do is put the response of the county commissioners to the Inspector General's letter on their website, even though we asked them to do so. The, the, the dredge has been used by three communities, and we expect it to be used by three more uh, this year. Um, permitting, as you know, has been slow. Uh, it was given to us by the Commonwealth. Uh, the county didn't uh, pay for it. The Commonwealth paid for it. And the use of the dredge is going to increase as people get comfortable how we're using it. Um, so uh, the answer is no, we are not returning it, uh, selling the asset and returning the money to the Commonwealth. Thank you, Commissioner. Okay. Non Mike, just, Mike, yeah, just one more question, uh, non related. Um, overall, uh, expansion and contraction of the, um, the human resources available to the county. Are uh, the in incremental jobs or um, decreasing jobs, and which ones? In terms of, uh, you go want ahead. To answer that question? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, are you asking are we hiring and firing, John? If the answer is that, we have uh, you. You missed the register. Uh, say he supports the budget. In the budget is one retirement from the registry that is not being filled at this time as we wait and see what's going to happen due to the COVID-19 revenues. Revenues right now are tracking uh, per the projections of last year. And we expect that the revenues will targets for the next year. Uh, so we'll follow in here. Okay, thank you. Thank you, John. And I see that uh, Pembroke now has a question. Pembroke, do you have a question? Yes, Mr. Chairman. Uh, uh, pretty much it was asked by uh, Mr. Mahoney. I was concerned about salaries since, you know, towns like ours are uh, downsizing a little bit because of revenues not uh, coming in throughout our towns. Uh, and uh, Mr. Pallotta basically answered that question. The other only question I had was the Mayflower uh, number because uh, I know Pembroke asked Mayflower for a, a support, a rate holiday at this time, and they denied us. And I said, I'm concerned because the revenue is not being generated to my town and others. I know other towns have asked the same thing, that they denied us for what's going on uh, coming up. So, I mean, it, it doesn't seem fair that they're gonna raise, hike our rates when we're hoping to, you know, keep a position in town that's, that's viable to help out the town uh, move forward. Um, so it was more of a statement, John. Did you want to, did you have a specific question? I think everybody uh, would love to. I'm looking, well, their, their personnel services and uh, which was 179,714.16. And I'm just wondering where these personal services, I guess, are, are going to. Okay. It's not uh, specified. 
Uh, Tom O'Brien, do you think you could take that one? Absolutely. Uh, and uh, thank you, John. Uh, and just to let everyone know that's members of the Mayflower Municipal Health Group, uh, we had a meeting earlier today of both the steering committee and the advisory board. Uh, the increase in FY21 uh, was 2%. Uh, that, as far as I know, is one of the lowest, if not the lowest, in the Commonwealth. Uh, the group is in very good financial position and uh, is looking to see what's happening in the future. We're aware that towns are losing revenue, uh, and that's certainly something uh, that is uh, a challenge. Uh, the county through the CARES Act and uh, others are doing our best to cover expenses as permitted by law. But if you'll turn to page 46, I don't know if you have the budget there. I don't know if we can get it up. Uh, but the 179 uh, are the salaries for the three employees. They're county employees uh, that work for the Mayflower Municipal Health Group. The only increase is a modest increase required by contract. Uh, and so for the county, this is dollar in, dollar out. We get reimbursed by the Mayflower Municipal Health Group. The total administration of the health group is less than 2% uh, of the entire budget. Uh, so it's the administrative costs of the Mayflower Municipal Health Group are the lowest of any joint purchase agreement, joint purchase group in New England. Uh, so uh, they manage it well. It's financially, up oh, there we go. Uh, they manage it well. It's financially solvent. Uh, and the administrative costs are the lowest in New England. So. Uh, again, we think this is a reasonable budget. It's dollar in, dollar out. I hope that answered uh, Pembroke's question. Uh, Pembroke is on mute. We can't hear you. It looks like uh, yes, Mr. O'Brien. Yes, uh, it did answer my question. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you. And I, I think that's it for the questions now. And, unless Jeff, you, you know, you're seeing something that I don't. Is everybody? I think we've exhausted all the questions that I could see. Seeing no further questions, I'm gonna read the motion. Uh, voted to provide for the maintenance and operation of the County of Plymouth, its departments, boards and commissions, institutions and sundry other services for certain improvements and to meet certain requirements of the Massachusetts general law regulating the disbursement of county funds and the approval thereof for fiscal year July 1, 2020 through July, June 30th, 2021 in the amount of $10,008,479.55, and that is a motion. I'll second that, Whitman. Thank you. Jeff, would you mind calling the roll? Ab <clears throat> Abington. Uh, press your space. Aye. Nope. Yeah, it wasn't working. Thanks. <laughs> All right. Uh, Bridgewater. Yes. Brockton. Brockton? Sorry, yes. Okay. Uh, Carver? Yes. Duxbury? East Bridgewater? Halifax? Yes. Hanover? Yes. Hanson? Yes. Hingham? Yes. Hull? Kingston? Yes. Lakeville. Yes. Marion. Very nice. Marshfield. Aye. Mattapoison. Mattapoison, aye. Middleborough. Yes. Norwell. Aye. Pembroke. Yes. Plymouth. Aye. Plimpton. Rochester. Rockland. Yes. Situate. Wareham. Yes. West Bridgewater. And Wetman. Yes. Basil, is that 65.22? Uh, Chair, um, I did see Ted Flynn on the, uh, on the uh, 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 Zoom, but I didn't hear him uh, vote. Ted, do you want to vote? Yes, affirmative. Okay, thank you. Sorry, just one second. So we have, uh, we're actually at 70.25. Yes, uh, none in the uh, negative, it passes. Excellent. All right, and the uh, last thing is a uh, announcement, uh, which I think we've covered. I just wanna remind everybody I was asked that um, 
the information that was submitted by Commissioner Pallotta tonight on the CARES Act in terms of requested disbursement and actual disbursements is actually on the county commissioner's website. So anybody who wants to track that can, can go on the county website and take a look at that. Uh, other than that, I really appreciate everybody uh, getting here on time and getting through this quickly. I know it's different, but we've all been doing Zoom meetings now uh, for months. So <laughs> hopefully we'll back to meeting in, soon, in person uh, towards the end of the summer. Um, but I really appreciate it. Uh, see no Chairman, yes. I just wanted to, on behalf of the county commissioners, I want to thank everybody for taking the time out to get our budget passed. Um, you know, it's, a, it's almost a 10% reduction. We're going through what everyone else is going through. And uh, we're just like we have for the past six years, we're, we're, we're going to provide the services uh, that you've asked us to. And uh, hopefully everyone will take, take advantage of the CARES Act, get your uh, submissions in, make sure you've dotted your I's and crossed your T's because we want to get the money to you. So I just want to thank everybody, and I want to thank the chairman for uh, running a good meeting. All right. Thank you, Commissioner. And uh, again, thanks, everybody. So I move to close uh, the meeting of June 18th, 2020, of the advisory board. Do I hear a second? Second. second. Again. Once again, we have to call the roll. So <laughs> one more time, people. All right. Uh, Abington. Yes. Bridgewater. Yes. Brockton. Yes. Carver. Yes. Duxbury. Yes. East Bridgewater. Halifax. Yes. Hanover. Yes. Hanson. Yes. Kingham. Yes. Hull. Kingston. Yes. Wakeville. Yes. Marion. Very nice. Marshfield. Aye. Hattapoison. Hattapoison, aye. Middleborough. Aye. Norwell. Aye. Pembroke. Yes. Plymouth. Yes. Plimpton. Rochester. Rockland. No. Just kidding. <laughs> yes. Oh, Jesus. Situate. Wareham. <laughs> yes. West Bridgewater. And Whitman. Yes. <laughs> All right. This concludes the meeting. Thank you, everyone. Appreciate All it. Right. If you want to talk, we can talk. All right. Thanks, Mike. <laughs> Be yeah. safe. Be well, everybody.